channel and welcome to another new video. Now, um, before we start I'd like as always to say thank you to all of you, all of my subscribers and viewers, um, you know, for watching my videos and for sticking with me. So thank you very much for that. It's much appreciated and thank you everybody for all your comments. Now, this week's video um, the restoration is going to be a model, um, it's for one of my mates, a, an old mate of mine, um, known for many years, and uh, last year when I was doing the beach, cleaning the beach, he came down and he said to me, or he asked me if I would mind doing a model that he had for him, um, and um, it was a, a model of a car that his uncle used to own and um, he sent me a picture of, of the car his uncle's car um, it's not a, a very clear picture but it, nevertheless he sent me the picture and um, he wanted me to do this model the same colors more or less you know as close as I could get it to his uncle's car so that's what this video is all about and um, you know the model it's a French dinky this one and it's a Peugeot 403 and I think that's number 24B now I've taken quite a long time doing this one because I didn't want to mess it up because obviously it wasn't for me and um, it hasn't come out too too bad it's got no interior or anything it's it's a pretty basic um, model but um, anyway that's what I've done I've tried to recreate his uncle's car so probably by the time you see this video he will have already had this model back and I hope he is going to be pleased with it I've done my best anyway and um, I've tried to make a box for it now I couldn't I didn't have a template for this one but I had the template for the Peugeot 403 um, estate version so the writing on the box is all in French so it's not quite right for this model but I've managed to superimpose the finished picture of this model onto the box and um, you know so we got the right picture on the box anyway Right, okay, so I suppose we better get on with this model restoration. And um, as I always say, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one. Okay then let's take a closer look at this one, if we look at the underneath first and uh, it says Dinky Toys Peugeot 403 made in France, Meccano and that's number 24B. Okay so if, as you can see um, the, ba the base is pretty battered and bent and it's rusty. Um, 
I don't think it was, it, well it was never painted this one by looks of it, it's just sort of one of those, you know, just the tin, maybe lacquer it. Um, the two rivets holding the base on. Wheels I think, well they're rusty now, but I think they were chromed at one time, so I'll try polishing those up. If that doesn't work I'll have to use a Molotov on them. Um, the tyres, I think this model came with white tyres on it. Obviously these have been changed over the years, so there's <laughs> three black ones and one white, but they're all pretty brittle and hard, so I'll have to change those. Um, looking at the top, quite a bit of paint loss. Um, no interior, no window unit. Um, they weren't made with them. The top looks as if it's been stood on a bit. It's got a bit of a, a dent in there, and or bow, and then uh, it's it's been pushed over that way by the looks of it. So we need to straighten that up a little bit. And the back is not quite 100% straight either. And um, other than that, hopefully it'll be a straightforward one to do. Um, and as I'm doing this one for my friend, um, he wants it like two-tone, so we're going to have a go at a two-tone, a sort of a green and a grey-green. Okay, so um, that's it, I guess. Get the drill out and drill these rivet post tops off and then um, get the base off. And then see what we do after that. Right, okay then, let's drill out the rivets on this one. Don't want to push too hard. too much off. The rivet flew behind me. There. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, so the back wheels are through the base, and the front wheels just lift out. So that's great. That's nice. I won't be able. Um, I won't need to take those off the axle, which is better for me. Okay. So that's it. Basically, it's pretty simple. I have straightened the roof. I couldn't resist. I came in the other night. Before I went to bed I came in and I had a look at what I'd been doing and I, th I looked at this and I thought mm, okay I'm gonna have a go at straightening that roof. I couldn't resist. So that straightened out so that's all right. So now I'm just gonna file the tops of these posts down a little bit and then I'm gonna drill them out. And I'll drill them out with a 2.5 millimeter drill or drill bit because that's the size rivets I'll be putting in. Okie dokie. Um, these back wheels I'll have to just file the piece of axle on the end. You know the script. Actually, these are, I don't think it really matters which side I do. Actually, I might do this side because it's it looks the same both sides. Except that's got a nice bit of a shinier edge than this one. So if I file this one down, it'll look a bit better, I think. It'll be better than messing that nice chromey bit up. And then I can polish that up after. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll have to try and straighten the base. It's very, very thin and flimsy. Very thin. 
you almost push it out with your fingers so I'm going to have to be very careful with that okie doke then so I will file this off, I'll file these wheels, get them off off camera and then I'll, I'll drill the rivet post off camera as well it's easier for me um, it's pretty straightforward, <laughs> you just got to keep the drill straight okie doke, and then um, well once that's done it's going to be caustic soda time so probably I will see you over at the caustic soda bath Okay. Well, that's coming off really well. Look, it's almost gone off. Okay. So uh, we'll do as normal. We'll come back to it when it's all cleaned, wire brush ready for primering. It's on the bench. Okay. So catch you in a bit. Right, that's it. All cleaned up. Um, wire brushed. And uh, ready to put the primer on. Casting's not too bad. It's a little bit, I don't know, you can't see. It's where that bonnet it, um, piece is. There. I don't know if it's like a chrome piece. Or handle, I'm not sure, but anyway, it's not great around there. There's not a lot really I can do about that. So yeah, it's all um, wiped off with methylated spirits, so it should be okay to go and paint. Okay, right. So that's the primer on. Um, so next day, it's dried, okay, and um, it's a lovely day again, sunny and warm, so I'm going to go out and put the um, first coat on this one, because it's going to be two-tone, and um, I'm going to put like, what's going to be the top half, I'm going to put the paint on that and um, the black on the base right okay so the dark green's done on the roof now I've got to mask this off um, I don't know if I can show you so it's got to be masked off along this line here. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. So, yeah, masked off along this line here and around the front of the screen, sort of along there, and then sort of across the back, just below the window. So, along these pillars and just below the window there, and then. I'm going to spray the bottom off. I've got some paint here. It's acrylic, Humbrol acrylic spray. Um, so it's that colour. It's it's slightly different to the dark, slightly lighter. Um, I'm having a job to match the paint that my mate wanted with this because um, 
as I told him I use the, the rattle cans um, not the airbrush so <clears throat> anyway I'm going to go ahead and mask this off and then we'll be spraying this we'll go out and spray it okay so I'll mask that off of camera because it's very difficult you've seen it done before and uh, it's very difficult for me to see what I'm doing with a camera in my way so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you right okay that's it masked up so what I'm going to do um, make sure that's completely stuck before you go out and paint you must always make sure go around the edges because sometimes the paper unsticks a bit again right what I'm going to do first I'm going to put some spray a little bit of lacquer around these edges because it will help to seal and stop any bleed through so that's what I'm going to do there and then I'm going to go out and uh, obviously put the other green on and then we'll see what happens then okay right okay let's see if we can get this masking off it's matte paint I've had to use because that's the, the only one I could find with that colour so I'm hoping when I lacquer it it's going to go shiny I'm hoping We can always hope. This bit's easy because it's just holding the uh, paper on the top now for the uh, scary part Gotta try and remember where I started off, where I finished the tape. All these little tiny pieces I put on. Oh. Cut that with the scissors. <coughs>
Well, not too too bad. Not too too bad. Pull that out. Fairly clean lines. Perhaps I've got a bit eye on that side. Difficult to see. No, it looks all right. It looks all right. Okay, so I'm gonna just check this off camera and make sure it is all right. I get a bit closer with my magnifying specs. And then I'm going to go out and lacquer it. Okie dokie, it's uh, assembly time. Not that there's a great deal to assemble. Uh, very basic. So, um, what I'll do, I'm going to put the glue in these rivet post um, holes before I put the actual base on in case I put too much glue uh, this isn't good eh? it's stuck in the old thing now that's it the nozzle's stuck in the lid oh bugger I need to sort that out okay we got it so I'm going to put a bit of glue in there and a bit in there Right. Duke. Then we're going to put the wheels, front wheels in, just fit in there like that. The base on, and I put the back rivet in. Do tweezers job. Okay, in she goes, and the front one. Okay, that's in. Okay, so we're going to leave that dry for a bit, and then um, we will come back to it. Right, okay. Um, back on its wheels that's okay um, all I've got to do now because I've done the chrome on the door handles and uh, back lights so all I need to do now I've got to make up a set of number plates for it um, so a square one on the back and a very narrow one that goes between the bumper and the front grille for the front it doesn't actually go on the bumper it always goes between the bumper and the grill so I'm going to make those and um, or try and make them they're very very small so I'm not sure if my printer is going to be able to print small enough but we'll see so I'm going to have a bash at making that and then uh, we'll come back come back to it then Okay then, that's the box made. Um, I've superimposed a photo of the actual car onto it. Um, I've had to doctor it a bit. I've put, you know, seats four to five because on the box that or the template I had, it's the wrong template. It's for the estate version, and it said seven to eight places. So, well, seats seven to eight. Um, so I've, I've changed that and then obviously I've superimposed the picture on it um, and then I've had to change the number because the actual number that was on the box template was 24F so I've changed it to 24B so that's it looks alright there you go Right, well that's it. I've got the number of plates on. Well, what a job I've had doing those because they are so tiny. Um, I've had a job to get them, you know, to be able to print that size. 
The back one's turned out probably a little bit better because it's slightly bigger. Right, so that's it then. It's uh, turned out quite nice. So I'm pleased with that and I hope my mate will be pleased with it. And um, what I'm going to do now is the usual. I'll um, go outside and do some of the still shots and then we'll put her on the old turntable and we'll give ourselves a reminder of what it was like before we started and then obviously you'll see it again as it is now going round. So that's that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, you know if you have please like and subscribe if you haven't already and then um, you know join me again in a couple of weeks time for another video. So until then, take care, look after yourselves, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheery for now. Abby. Bye.